to help you with this, I'm going to talk you through the homework that you guys did for me this week, which is question two from the Elizabeth paper, where you have to analyse a source for its accuracy. So in this case, we had a source, and you're using it to say how accurate is this source in showing us that the poor law was a success. So remember, we use a Cooper paragraph to analyse the source, and you always want to find at least one strength and one weakness, and then you want to find two pieces of evidence for the content. So in terms of your two pieces of evidence, there's lots of things you could have chosen. The fact that they have an overseer of the poor, so somebody in charge of the poor law would make it a success. Then it says that they set a poor rate accordingly. Accordingly would suggest that it can be changed according to who needs it most and when. The fact that they're collecting a poor rate means that they're giving money. You could have picked that there's money and food being given to the poor and that there were poor houses for them to live in. So overall, you just needed to pick two of those things and that would form the content part of your Cooper paragraph. Now remember, you give the quote and then you say how it shows the poor law is a success. So if you're saying that they're giving food and money, this shows the poor law is a success because the poor were being fed. Okay, and then you would move on to own knowledge. I always use own knowledge to say what's missing from the source so that I'm continuing to analyse it. So what do this, does this source not tell us about the poor law? Well, the fact that they judged the poor and put them into groups, so able-bodied, poor, and non-able-bodied, poor. If you were able-bodied, you're not really going to get poor relief because technically you can go out and get your own job. And that would have meant that the poor law wasn't really a success because it didn't help everybody. So you could use that to say this isn't very accurate because there is some information missing. So you're analysing the source for AO3 but you're also giving some knowledge, which is AO1. Then for origin and purpose, you are using that to figure out a strength and a weakness of the source. So you might pick that it's a history website created by historians. So that's where it comes from. This is a good thing. Historians are well researched, so they would have known what they were talking about. Usually, I would be picking the fact that it's a website to say that that's a weakness because websites can most of the time be edited and changed and they're always secondary. In this case that's a good thing because it's a history website. If it's secondary that means the historians had time to research so it's kind of a bit of both. So in terms of weakness we haven't really got a good weakness from the attribution which is when I rely on the content of the source for my weakness. So as we said already with our own knowledge, the weakness is there's some key information about the poor law missing. So we're, we're fine. We've got a strength and a weakness. So you would then go on to create your quick paragraph. I left it into content and origin and then another paragraph for your strength and your weakness, but you can smish it all as one paragraph, I don't mind. So you might say something like, uh, in source, it says this shows the poor law is a success because. Remember, when you're saying your strength and weakness, you have to say why it's a strength and weakness, so why are historians good, why are websites bad, and so on. The conclusion is optional, but like I said in the lesson the other day, it can get you those extra marks and it can cover your back if you've made a mistake. So to what extent is this source accurate? If they're asking you to what extent, they want you to debate it. So it will be accurate, but it also won't. So you might start off by saying this source is accurate or fairly accurate in showing us the success of the poor law because it gives us lots of examples of why it was a success. And these examples come from well-researched historians. However, there are some key information about the poor law missing. So that's your to what extent. Yes, but no. Hope that helps, guys.